in this tutorial i am going to explain how to do the moderating analysis using professor andrew hayes uh, professor andrew hayes process macro method this is one very very simple this is much uh, easier than the mediating analysis this is a very very straightforward and it will take only few minutes to complete this session right okay so we will start so this is our standard model as you can see that here we have our independent variables three independent variables and here we have our uh, mediating variable and the moderating variable so this time we are going to analyze the moderating effects of the consumer innovativeness as we did in the mediating effects here we have to use here we have to test the consumer innovative innovativeness moderating effects of the three relationships again so that in other words the moderating effects of the ci on the relationship between the hm and pi and on the relationship of the um and pi and on the relationship of the em and pi so we have to we have to test moderating effects of ci or the consumer innovativeness on all the three relationships as we did in the mediating analysis okay so here this is a categorical moderator so in the next tutorial we are going to discuss how to how to assess the moderating effects of the categorical variable as well but in this tutorial we are going to analyze the uh, continuous moderating effects on the relationship between our independent variables and the dependent variable right okay so this is it very clearly so this is our three independent variables or the factors hm um em this is our dependent variable okay very straightforward right this is our dependent variable and this is these three are our independent variables so again in this case we have to take the mean value of the all the constructs for example independent variables you have to take the mean value the purchasing intention you have to take the mean value uh, consume innovativeness you have to take the mean value why we ask different questions to measure each and every construct so that is why we are taking the mean value right okay so please remember that we have to test the relationship individually and independently when we are using the process uh, the professor andrew hayes process macro method okay so again i have to tell you very clearly when you are doing when you are doing analysis using uh, smart plso using uh, ibm ibm sps amo software all these relationships can be tested simultaneously at one time but here you will have to do thrice three times you will have to do the analyze the moderating effects okay right so we will now take this one very very straight forward right so this is this is it your data set okay so we will go to your data set right we will go to your we will go to your data set right so this is your data set okay so we will see so please remember again in order to do the moderating analysis you should have already installed the professor andrew hayes process macro feature in your sp so please remember that that is the free requirement uh, free requisite right okay so that please understand this is very simple very straightforward unlike the mediating effects this is a very straightforward and you will understand very simply right okay so again please remember that there are some two three steps to be done right okay so now you got your software already open go to analysis yeah then regression and then is it linear no this time it is again process uh, 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 process macro method by introduce professor and to as usual we did for the mediating analysis okay just click it okay now you got the same almost same same diagram no same dialog yeah what you have to do is just place your variables first then we will discuss the next steps 
right? So you, this is your average value, right? Put here. Now at a time you have to take only one variable, even in this case also, right? So we will take this value as our x variable. Okay. Right? Try to put your second variable. Can you? No, it is rejected. Only one variable at a time. So but what is your moderating variable? This time it is a CI. CI means consumer innovativeness. Consumer innovativeness means how the consumers like to welcome new technology, innovation. How the consumers or how the customers are willing to welcome the new technology. So you don't uh, you don't say that everybody is willing to uh, willing to welcome the new technology. Some people, even the young people, they don't like to uh, like to welcome new technology. Sometimes old people are willing to uh, welcome the new technology than young people. So therefore, you can't say arbitrarily everything has to be said you, uh, using research, research findings, right? So that's it. Okay, so moderator variable is CI. So that this time it has to be placed in this here, in this column or in this row, whatever. That is the place where you have to put your moderator variable. Right now, everything is okay. Uh, just check it. Uh, your independent variable was placed at the correct place. Your mediating variable, the first mediating, sorry, first independent variable was placed at the correct place and then your moderating variable was also placed at the correct place. Now, go to about, no need, no changes. Go to the options. Mm, as usual, no change, but in this time, no changes, right? Uh, then go to the this one. This, of course, you have to change it because sometimes your names may be longer so because you are not, not you are not checking it. So for your safety, just check it. No harm with the right. Now that's it. Now this time you are not going to change this model, right? Because according to the professor Andrew Hayes, this should be model number one. That means he has geniusly identified more than eighty models. Out of those eighty models. The model number one is the most simplest moderated model that we are using. I already explained you when we were doing the mediating analysis. The model number four is the most simple mediating model we are using. And uh, for the mo moderating, the model number one is the most simple model we are using. So we are not going to create that. By default, it is set to the model number one. That's it. Right. Now you just, you just uh, run the analysis, click, clicking OK, right? Now you will get uh, the answer, you will get the analysis within a couple of minutes, right? It takes like more than meeting and I think it takes, right? Okay. Right, you got the analysis, right? Right, so this is very similar, very similar, now finish it, right? Okay, so very easy. Right, so as usual, as usual, this is uh, your descriptive analysis area, right? So that means what is your dependent variable, what is your independent variable, what is your moderating variable, right? Why have they given this kind of analysis? Because sometimes you may have two different independent variables, three different, even in our case, we have three independent variables. And sometimes you may have two, three moderating variables. Actually, dependent variable, you have only one. But media, so moderating variables, you may have one or two. Okay, so that's why you are given this kind of analysis at the very first, right? Okay, then the next is our business area. So very simply, so you go here and you have to check all these things, the significance, right? So this is the most important one, this one. Right? So this one is the most important one. That means the product. Okay. That means the product. Product of the uh, independent variable and the moderating variable. That is called interaction term. Okay. So the interaction uh, interaction term. So if uh, in order to be significant, the moderating effect, in order to, to be significant, the moderating effect, this interaction term should be significant right this this is x x means your independent variable 
W means your independent variable, the product of your independent variable and your moderating variable should be statistically significant, but unfortunately, no. Right? So this is the same value here. You can see same value. The other things are actually not that important. So there are some other meanings you can interpret, but basically the moderating effects are not there. So you, in order to be in order to be significant, this value should be less than 0.05. It is very much higher than that value. So the model is statistically insignificant. That in other words, uh, the CI does not significantly moderate the relationship between the HM and the PI. So that is finished. Very simple. Okay. Now this is insignificant. Why? P value is less uh, greater than 0 0.05. Okay, clear. So that's all about the moderating effects of the HM. Now let's move on to the move on to the test the second second independent variable. Same way you have to go for the regression linear. No, Professor Andrew Hayes process macro method. Go there and just. Reset, no issue. Now you know how to do it. PI should be at the uh, variable uh, column, variable and the uh, variable row, and uh, what is that? Uh, the next thing, our media moderating field. So independent variable should, is UM. It should be here as X variable. Our moderating variable will not be changed. It is CI. It is here, right? And here you don't have to change anything. Only the this long variable name that please check it for your safety, right? Then nothing will happen if uh, if you check, right? Don't worry about that. But if you didn't check it and if and if your name is long, then you will not get the your analysis run. That is the problem. So the, uh, so therefore you just click it and no harm even when your name is short, no issue, right? Okay. So the model number should not be changed because by default it is set to the number. Okay, that's it. Just run. Within one minute time, you will get the results for the UM, right? Yeah, I got it. And uh, again, uh, this is the business area. This is the business area. That means the product of, product of, what is that? Product of. X, X means your independent variable, W means your moderating variable. In this case, our independent variable is UM, moderating variable is CI. The product of, product of UM and CI is insignificant because P value is greater than 0 0.05. So therefore, uh, we can statistically, we can conclude that the, that the consumer innovativeness does not significantly moderate the relationship between the UM and the PI. So that's all about the moderating analysis. That is a very easy, as I told you, right? Okay, that's all about, I'm not going to waste your time. Right, now it's finished. Now let's go to the other slides, okay? Right, so this is it, now please understand. So this is, these are the steps that you have to follow. Nothing, nothing important, no big steps, right? Okay, now, mm, Right. Okay. Mm. Right. So I just want to tell you how we did it. Please remember, first of all, if you want to test the moderating effects, the Andrew, the Professor Andrew Hayes process macro should have already been installed before you start. Then that is the first requirement. And then next requirement you should have all the constructs uh, all the constructs uh, by means of mean values you have to take the mean value why because you are using the different number of questions to measure the your concern so therefore you have to get the mean values that's the second uh, requirement then uh, you have to understand how many independent variables are there and then you have to test that how many uh, relationships you want to test in our case I want to, we want to know the moderating effects on the relationship between all three independent variables and dependent variables. 
Sometimes you may be testing uh, the moderating effect between one and two variables. That's okay. So, but in our case, you have to test all the, the three relationships. That's all about the moderating effects. So, please understand. Right. Uh, next time, next time uh, we will have to discuss about the categorical variable using the uh, Professor Andrew Hayes method same way. So, very simple. And also, not only that one, next time we will have to show you the graphical representation, graphical presentation, right? Graphical interpretation is very, very important when you are doing the moderating analysis, how to, how to interpret graphically about the uh, moderating effects. So that's all about the moderating effects. I hope that you will understand this simple criteria and definitely I'm sure, I, I believe that this explanation will be useful you to do your own moderating analysis. Okay, thank you very much.